Hello, welcome back to another video on astrology. In this video, I will be talking to you about Sirshodaya, Prishtodaya and uh, Ubayodaya signs, which is actually another way of, you know, another attribute to a zodiac signs. As you all know by now, every zodiac sign has many attributes. It is a male sign, it is a female sign or maybe it is a positive sign, a negative sign. It is a, a mobile sign, it is a fixed sign. Um, it rules a particular direction, east, uh, north, south, east, west. So, so many other characteristics and apart from that, it, it also has a symbol associated with the uh, zodiac uh, itself. Uh, for example, Aries has uh, the ram as its symbol and Taurus has uh, the bull as its symbol. So, Sri Varahmira in Braha Jataka said, by just looking at the animal and uh, learning about the animal, uh, its behavior, etc., you could know a great deal about a particular sign. So, this is just another extension of this, but um, in one of my classes, uh, uh, the students asked me, uh, there are so many attributes and how do we use them? So, I am trying to do some, you know, a series of videos on how to make best use of this kind of information. Otherwise, it just lies in the, you know, the textbook, you do not know what to do with it. So, uh, as the name implies, uh, you can see here on the, uh, uh, on the iPad, you can see uh, Aries is Prushtodaya and uh, Taurus is Prushtodaya and the first Sirshodaya sign is Gemini. So, what is Sirshodaya? F for this, you need to understand how uh, the animals or human beings rise. Uh, you know, first it rises on its hind side, uh, the, the back side and then the front side. So, if it rises first from the hind side, it is called uh, Prushtodaya uh, from behind. Okay, and Sirshodaya is rising with its head, which means it is more intelligent and uh, maybe has more consciousness in it, uh, uh, superior consciousness in it. So, uh, you have uh, one particular sign which is called Pisces, which is Ubayodaya, which is the only Ubayodaya sign in the entire zodiac. That is because you have the fish and uh, you have actually two fish in this sign and one fish is going up and uh, which is with the head up and the other fish has its head downwards. It is something like a yin yang, you can see that it is a sign of regeneration because after this sign, uh, the whole cycle starts again. Aries, which is the first sign, 0 degrees starts again with the end of Pisces. So, it is something like a regeneration, it all starts from water, you could re remember it that way. So, this is very uh, evident, right? You know, uh, Virgo is a Sirshodaya sign and uh, Libra is a Sirshodaya. But you look at uh, Leo, the, the lion. So, the lion rises with, uh, you know, the front part first up. It uh, always rises that way. It does not uh, rise, uh, you know, like a, like a cow or a bull. Okay, so that means the lion is some, something very superior in terms of consciousness. Then, um, uh, the, the next question comes as to how do we use this knowledge. So, there are uh, many ways. Uh, in terms of Rashi Bala, uh, this is a very important criteria. Um, Sirshodaya, Prishtodaya and Ubayodaya, it is used in that calculation. But uh, the main purpose of uh, this particular attributes uh, is that, you know, there is always um, all of us are ruled by any particular dasha, nantar dasha or pratyantar dasha, which is called planetary period. And so, uh, we need to know, uh, it is quite long, right? So, we, we need to know uh, which part of the dasha is more active, uh, how does it start, where does it actually start giving its results. So, Maharshi Parashara has said in uh, BPHS Volume 1, he says that uh, a Sirshodaya sign, any planet in a Sirshodaya sign, uh, in its dasha or antar dasha or any planetary period will always tend to give its result uh, immediately as soon as it, the period starts. And then uh, in with regard to Prishtodaya, he says it will give the results towards the second part. It is only from the second part onwards and that too uh, as more days go by which is obviously like saying it is almost going to give you the results at the end. So, that is how you use it. In case of Ubayodaya, it is uh, it is throughout this is the most important uh, way you could use this. But if you think that this rule is enough to find out uh, uh, when a dasha would get active, this is not enough. Uh, as in astrology, we always know that 
one uh, swallow does not make summer that's a very popular saying because just by one you cannot say it happens and uh, you need to uh, you know do what is called stack up but to stack up you need all this little little information and you have to pile them up and then come out with your predictions i hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, please uh, do not hesitate to type out your comments suggestions or you know feedback or, or your question etc uh, whatever you have uh, please uh, type them out in the comment section and uh, whenever i find the time i'll answer them for you